Today, we're gonna start the restoration on the drill press. other half of it and it's on the floor because it weighs like 300 pounds. We're gonna start with removing the rust from this main base. If we can continue that trend before we put the big one on, the next episode will be putting this head on to drill press. So it's definitely in pretty rough condition right now, but after we hit it with some WD-40 and a Scotch-Brite pad, we will get away all of this surface rust and it'll look 10 times better. But before we do anything else, we need to vacuum away all this grime and grease that was left over from the wildlife preserve. I had a better idea. Take this and put it on my sander. big stand. I'm gonna take apart this, degrease all of it, and then regrease all of it, because a bunch of gear is inside this. Get to clean it. Hey. Yeah. How's it going? Okay. This is where the thing sat. Yeah. Maybe we don't have a sandblaster. I know, right? That would be nice. I was looking at one the other day, honestly. How much? They're up there, because you need a compressor and all this shit. And you need the spot to do it. Yeah. This entire time was spent trying to take the connecting one and a half inch bolt off of the coupler all with the wrong tools because I didn't have the one and a half inch socket. Ironically, the 30 minutes it took me to do it unsuccessfully, I could have gone to the store and back and gotten the proper tool to do it successfully. Moral of the story, use the proper tool for the job even if it means you have to go out of your way. So look at all this grease that's in the rail that was holding everything up, causing it to clog and like kind of skip a little bit. You just take some paper towels and just kind of wipe the grease away. Ideally, I'd use Q-tips. See, the teeth themselves aren't supposed to have grease on them. The gears inside this are supposed to have grease on them. So someone must have overloaded the grease with this. Like, that's a significant amount of grease. Part of the video where Brandon is being very stupid and pressing the record button when it's already recording and stopping the recording for a vital part of this entire restoration, which is remounting the mill bed to the base. So here's Ari and I discovering that the camera wasn't recording. I don't know if you are. It's on now. We're gonna drop down below and do the weighted base and de-rust all that stuff. We gotta finish this part. We're gonna vacuum this grease, vacuum all this dust out of it. The next day. I wasn't planning on repainting this. I was just gonna like sand it down to bare metal. But like, considering how it's all black and I've already kind of removed some of the paint in other places, especially right there, it's like green. So I'm gonna grind it all off and let's get to it.
So I put a coat of paint on the base while my camera batteries were charging. And at first I wanted to go with a gloss finish, but after applying the first coat, I decided to go with a flat finish to keep it all looking the same because I just really didn't like how it looked. This episode is a really good way for you to understand how my future videos will look. So if you like what you see, let me know by hitting the like button down below. And while you're down there, leave a comment on how you like the video so far. I'm open to any and all feedback you may have. But most importantly, make sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any of the future episodes because it only gets better from here. Here's what's coming next week.